you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. I know I look crazy right now. Due to you guys' requests, I decided to start doing first impressions. Instead of just doing a random ass review, I'm going to be trying products for the first time and letting you guys know how I feel throughout the whole day. So the product on the lineup is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. That's a doozy. So I'm just going to go quickly on the Milani website and let you guys know the whole spill about the foundation and what it's supposed to do. First of all, I'm going to talk about prices. This product retails for $9.99. And that's everywhere. I went to Walgreens and I got it for the same price. And it's also the same price in the Milani website as well. How many shades do we have here? We have about 14 shades. That's an awesome collection for drugstore foundation. Hopefully they can actually extend it. The darkest shade is going to be Golden Toffee. And my shade is Chestnut. My shade is number 13. So really, is this really dedicated towards dark skin? I would say not because there are people that are way way darker than me i'm sorry somebody sent me a message there were people that are darker than me and there's only one darker shade after the shade that i have personally let's see the description it says it's supposed to come back under eye circles you see right here and redness and other skin imperfections with this full coverage water resistant foundation plus concealer in one a no mess no drip pump dispenses just the right amount of fluid needed to achieve a flawless look and works around the clock to keep the skin looking naturally perfect so it gives you the claims it's supposed to be water resistant it's supposed to be full coverage and it's supposed to conceal all these imperfections I got going on here I know you guys will curse me out but I do have imperfections of course and it says okay apply a dime sized amount of product with fingertips or a brush and begin in the center of the face and blend upward as a concealer use a small amount of product and apply to where additional coverage is needed in a tap in motion until blended so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the foundation looks like this is how the bottle looks like it is pretty standard bottle this is actually glass I mean if you drop it it's gonna like break so the only like thing that I see right now that I hate is this applicator thingy that they got going on here um, I don't know how this is supposed to work I actually have no idea like seriously I'm kind of confused oh actually oh yeah it is a pump holy shit look at how crazy I am it is a freaking pump let me sigh for Milani Milani you're awesome I'm glad that you created a pump because I was about to curse you guys out on the freaking packaging, not knowing that it was a pump. First of all, um, I'm actually going to prime my face. I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Smoothening Primer. i actually not going to use a mattifying one because I want to see how this controls oil and all that good stuff. I want to see how it looks like on its own before I start telling y'all what to do and how to use it. Since it's water resistant, I would say it is going to be um, an oil controlling foundation. Hopefully that's what it is and I don't have to like, I hope I just didn't mess the pump up. Okay. Okay. It's coming out. Okay. It's a really thick foundation first of all guys. Really, really, really thick foundation. And I'm just going to take my little mirror. I'm going to dot some on my face. The chestnut seems a little too red. I have more yellow than my skin. Um, if I was to go with a shade lighter, it probably would be too light. But the chestnut seems like an okay match. I'm going to take my Luxie 532 Brown Top Blender. So we're just going to blend this out. It says blend outward, like, like this. And I'm not going to use concealer. I'm only use concealer to highlight, of course. You guys know I like to do my highlight. But I'm not gonna use concealer to conceal anything because I wanna see how this foundation is gonna do everything for me in one. And they said um, if you have any other imperfections, tap with your finger. So I'm gonna just tap some of them under my eye, okay? Cause I got dark circles right here. Dark circles galore, right? That seems to cover it up okay okay so this is how this face looks like as you guys can see it's a little bit red okay I have more yellow in my skin that's the only thing I have 
a problem with this but it still is workable like once I put powder and everything and like bring a little bit more yellow tone to my skin it will be all right so can you guys tell me does it cover up so much yes it does I believe so like seriously I actually do like the foundation it doesn't feel heavy too that's my own thing I hate when foundation feels heavy on the skin it feels like really really lightweight it doesn't feel like I got cake on my face so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the other side and I will show you the full face and then I'll be back to show you my whole makeup so guys I've let this foundation fully set it is I would say it is a demi matte finish it's not fully matte but it's not shiny at all so that's all I care for so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my rest of my face makeup and I'll be back and I'll show you how it looks like so I'm back with my makeup done and everything I'm wearing a uh, ColourPop Cosmetics Scrooge and LAX I mixed the two like an ombre lip you guys were wondering what I put on my lips and just did random lashes and a little bit of eyeshadow on the crease that's it it is actually 2 28 p.m. and I had to hit work right now I'm supposed to be at work at 3 o'clock FYI and I will update you guys I did use the MAC mineralized skin finish in dark to kind of balance out you can see it looks more natural it doesn't look too red like it did initially and I just went with my regular foundation routine I normally set under my eyes regardless because I put concealer again to brighten up the center of my face that's a given I have to set it regardless of anything yeah so that's how it looks right now and I will be back for an update hey guys I'm actually back from work it's actually 7 28 p.m. the last time I spoke to you guys was like around 2 28 so it's been about more than five hours because I actually had the foundation on around two I've had the foundation on for five plus hours and as you guys can see it looks all right it doesn't look shiny it looks the way it has been on my face I am a little drippy because it's really cold outside and I just came out from the cold and it's like horrendous so I'm going to let this actually I'm not gonna take it off right now because I want to wait till 10 o'clock and let you guys see the overall look but right now I can tell that this is gonna be a good foundation I haven't had any transfer in my blush is still intact my highlighter is still intact and that's how you can tell if it's still on my face my highlighter is intact in my nose and the, the normal areas around my face that come off is normally my nose area I'm trying to check I got a magnifier right here and it's pretty much on my nose and on my lip area so those are the places that really start to come off for me and those places are still fine so I'll be back to check up with you guys at the end of the night I'm back with my update officially it is actually 10 7 at night and I'm ready to get this makeup off first of all I want to go through uh, some of the things that the Milani website said this foundation was supposed to do they said it was water resistant and um, it should be smudge proof too as well I used the paper I tapped it and it only smeared a little bit so that's really really impressive it didn't say anything about being um, oil controlling but I'm surprised by how long it weared like literally I'm looking at myself with my little magnifying glass this is gonna tell me if I'm so oily or the only oil I can see is literally around my my nose area um, and the problems I usually have around this area is foundation gathering around it there is not so much gathering it's just more of oil which is on my nose and that's still the place my forehead is not really shiny at all so yeah my magnifying glass works well this foundation I absolutely recommend it if you're oily I will recommend setting the areas that you could become oily in the rest of my face is not oily it's just the areas where I feel like I get oil this foundation has would help for almost eight hours like literally it should be eight hours because I put it on at around two I really recommend it Milani did a great job um this foundation has lived up to the rays that I've seen on YouTube too. so definitely check out Milani's website this is not a sponsored video just so you guys know that I brought it with my own money and my reviews are always gonna be honest either way even if I get something for free or I buy it with my own money so I really recommend this foundation so if you guys do like this first impression video then give this video a thumbs up 
I know some of you guys just requested it and that's why I did it. So thank you guys again. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me at Snapchat, all at Makeup by Tino. I have been posting a lot of snaps. You guys should join my snap family. And then follow me on Instagram at It's Your Girl Tino and also at Facebook at Makeup by Tino. Thank you guys again for your love and support and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!